snare right there. You guys can see it. Nice trail. It goes back in there. So, I don't know if you guys can see yet. It's uh, been dark out. I already got four coon. Um, and a lot of my pans, a lot of the uh, pan covers are removed. So, we definitely lost a few. Look at these trails. Coon trail. Pretty intense. They're going in these old groundhog slash skunk holes. Nice. Alright. Moving right along. Dirt hole. Let's see what we got. I think I see a yoke jumping around. <clears throat> yep. Nice dark yoke, deep pad catch. Beautiful dog. We're gonna go ahead and take care of him and take a look at him. Had a dirt hole set right here. And then uh, there's a field coming in and it goes down over there. Now I couldn't set it because there's gravel right here so I chose this corner as a point, but yeah, he's a nice dark yoke. All right, we're gonna take care of him and move on. Yeah, you're a pretty dog. Got a nice yoke right there. And uh, I'm Chris Wilburn with D.N.Outdoors, and I'm gonna show you how to do a dirt hole set for a coyote. Now, this is a remake, okay? so. What you do is you bed your trap solid, dig a hole, stake it under the trap, dig a little hole for it, pound it in, or use an earth anchor. Take your trap, I'm using number two, um, put your pan cover over if you don't have that, use cotton balls underneath the pan, or also you can uh, put wax paper over top. So my dirt's already pre-sifted. All right, so start filling it in. My dirt's already pre-sifted. I'm using peat moss, it's underneath. I got it salted underneath too for thawing and freezing conditions. Next, as you do this, add your salt. That way it doesn't freeze. Pack as you go, it's solid. You always want it to be solid. Add a little more peat moss. Just like so. Keep adding salt. Now you want it to be a little bit lower than a dirt hole. Um, they like to step in those low levels, remember that. And keep everything that can get caught in a trap out and pack as you go. You're gonna wanna blend the set. Keep packing. A little grass ain't gonna bother nothing. Now I dig my holes back about six inches. Um, and that, or I'm sorry. I dig my holes back about nine inches and a little bit offset. And then uh, that way, if they don't completely commit, they can step in the trap. So just like that, this is just a remake. Take your gloves off. Take your lure, get a stick. And put it back in the hole. And there you go. That is a dirt hole set for canines, specifically coyotes. Thanks for stopping in, guys. All right, we're walking up on the second snare and we got a nice red fox. So.
All right. We'll go ahead and take care of him and uh, move on. See, I got these trails set right here. And uh, so, nice fox. We'll go ahead and take care of him and get him out. It's pretty not bad. Had him on this trail right here coming in and it goes out to this field. That one was set high. That one was set about 10, 12 inches and this one was set about um, 8 to 10 because I knew fox were coming through too. So um, we'll get him taken care of, dispatched, and uh, move on. All right. I'm Chris Warren with B.N.Outdoors. I'm going to show you how to do a canine snare set. So right here, we got a, a path coming in from this field, and it goes out to another adjacent field behind me. Okay, so we got a perfect little funnel down pinch point for a snare right here. I already got a preset to make this go a little quicker. Now, take your snare. Now, depending on state laws, you can fashion it to a, a tree that's secure, no smaller than your wrist. I usually use an earth anchor. Um, or some kind of stake, okay? Stake your trap. Now, what I'm using to support the whammy, which is right here, you know, is one of those metal posts that you find in your front front yard when people put them out there, vote for governor, blah, blah, blah. Take those, cut them in half, and you got a support system for your snare, quick and easy. Um, what I like to do is I back the lock off a quarter of an inch. That way the snare is loaded and operable. And then this one's set 12 and 12. I might move it down 10 and 10 to catch a fox just like we just did. Um, but it's quick and it, it's quick and effective and a uh, pretty simple method. And uh, yeah, that's what it looks like. Thanks for watching, guys.